friends, welcome into the video and welcome into the spring into spring Pokemon Go event. Now what this event is bringing us is we got some really good costumed Pokemon and of course with those costumed Pokemon, their shinies are available and they are going to be extremely rare to have because most of the time with events like this, those costume Pokemon only come around once. And also there is the egg pool. The egg pool for the two kilometer eggs has Riolu and Munchlax in it, which can be hat shiny, one in 64 odds. And it's half egg hatch distance, so we are going to be farming these eggs, and you guys already know that. Because I'm telling y'all now, I want that shiny Munchlax and that shiny Riolu, and I'm going to make it happen. And what do you know? We have seven 10 kilometer eggs to hatch right now. These are some leftover incubators that I had from the Hoenn tour that I needed to use to clear out my egg storage. Because we have to make room for these 2k eggs. I never thought I'd say that in my entire life. But these ones aren't from the event. Like I said, just needed to clear up some storage. Maybe we'll get a shiny from these seven 10 case who knows first one it's gonna be a rock roof not gonna be shiny second one tartuga not gonna be a shiny third one it's gonna be a rock roof not gonna be shiny look at all the candy we're getting from that 46 and 10 xls crazy and another tartuga not gonna be a shiny next one's gonna be a togedemaru couldn't be shiny i think this is the last one what's it gonna be it's gonna be a gibble i didn't even know he was in the 10 case might have been adventure sync but the last one is gonna be and i had three tartugas are any of them gonna be good we first First one, definitely not. Second one, look at tomorrow's not that bad. Next one, blah, terrible. Gibble, honestly, ain't that half bad. Rockruff, meh. Overall, pretty lackluster 10Ks. So, time to go fill up on 2Ks now, because we are hatching an entire batch of eggs by the end of this video. Guaranteed. Also, with the debut of the Spring into Spring event comes the brand new Pokemon into Pokemon Go. Cutie Fly, which is quite possibly one of the smallest Pokemon in Pokemon Go history, honestly. So, honestly, I doubt this thing will have any play whatsoever in meta relevancy, maybe. Maybe it'll be good for PvP, I'm not really sure. The typing, I'm pretty sure it's just like a bug fairy. But, Pokedex entry, cutie fly, there it is. Yeah, it's a bug fairy, so maybe it'll have some play in PvP, I have no idea. But honestly, those IVs are not good for PvP, so we ain't gonna be worrying about it too much. But I'm actually gonna look real quick, see if it's any good for PvP. Okay, I can confirm it is absolutely trash in the Great League. Maybe it'll be good for a future cup, I have no idea. Only time will tell, honestly. Okay, farming for these eggs is gonna have to take a quick break for a second because I actually have a potential shiny shadow Charmander check right here right now give me the shiny luck because I'm gonna need it one in 64 odds of shiny shadow Charmander right here crap 186 probably awful back to the eggs back to your regularly scheduled programming in the meantime while we try and hatch these eggs we're actually gonna be pumping the daily incense seeing what that can bring us who knows maybe something good maybe a galarian bird so a little bit of an update we're nearly halfway through with the daily incense and all i gotta say it's been terrible which i'm sure you guys probably already guessed as soon as you're seeing this because you haven't seen any clips of what i've gotten because the thing is i've gotten nothing good oh Okay, I stand corrected as I was saying that we get a dragon air. Hey, I, I guess if you complain enough, you get what you want. And just like that, we got nine eggs hatching. We got one 5k and eight 2k starting off with the 2k. What will it be? It's an Eevee. I thought these would have the flower crowns on them, but I guess I'm wrong. Second one, Munchlax. Not going to be the shiny one, but we still got one. Maybe it could have been Hundo. Second one's going to be, ooh, a Riolu, which is honestly the hardest egg hatch possible in this bunch. Third one's going to be a Azuril. Uh, Fourth one's going to be a cutie fly. Not what I want to see. Fifth one's going to be a Poplio. Definitely something I did not want to see. Sixth one. <sighs> Definitely don't want that. Seventh one. Eevee. Not going to be shiny. I guess I'm okay with that. Eighth one is going to be a cutie fly. So we got one Munchlax and one Riolu. Let's see if any of these hatches were any good. Nope. 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 Oh, okay. So they do get the flower crown, just none of the egg hatch animation. Weird. Nope. Okay. Munchlax. You're solid. Nope. And Riolu, you were terrible. Sad to see. And Poplio, you were terrible too. Sad to see. Also, in the middle of that hatch animation, they lay in since right now, only thing we got that was good was the Dragonair, and the IVs on it were a zero star. So, um, yeah, terrible incense. Who would have thought? Yeah, you can see right here. 11 Pokemon. Only thing good was the Dragonair. You can kind of consider Onyx kind of good, but nah, terrible. Also, one thing I just really want to flex with you guys real quick is the fact that I hatched this 100% IV Poplio. I am so happy that I hatched this, honestly, because once this thing gets a calm day in probably three years, let's be honest, maybe two, who knows, this thing is going to be a monster in the Master League with its typing and the exclusive move that it gets from the community. Day. So I'm gonna wait to evolve this thing until community day comes around because like I said this thing is gonna be an absolute 
monster. So one thing I just kind of want to complain about real quick because I guess it seems like there's always something new to complain about with Niantic and Pokemon Go, which don't get me wrong, I love this game. I play this game every single day. The Reggie Lecky Elite Raid Day. Why do they have to have it on Easter Sunday of all days? Why like my, my gripe isn't the fact that it's on Easter Sunday. My gripe is the fact that why not just Saturday, you know? What is preventing them from hosting this event a day earlier? Because like a lot of people, they celebrate Easter. I'm definitely going to be doing something with my family. But like I said, my, my gripe isn't the fact that it was on Sunday because it was like up in the air whether or not I was even going to do this event or not. But now that I realize that it is on Easter Sunday and I'm probably going to have stuff to do with my family, it's definitely more up in the air on whether I'm going to be able to or not, leaning more towards the fact that I'm not going to be able to do it. But considering Reggie Drago... Elite Raid Day was an absolute disaster of an event. I have a feeling this one will be too, but who knows, maybe they did something a little bit different, maybe they have changed the spawns a little bit, because that was like something really big that was god-awful was the spawns, because you were technically supposed to be getting rare spawns after you did an Elite Raid, but literally not one thing spawned during that time. Most likely, as of right now, just don't expect a video on Reggie Lucky Elite Raid Day, because to be honest, it's gonna be a flop. Let's be real. And plus, it's not that cool of a design. I prefer Reggie Drago anyway. It's just a really bad event that's really just not worth my time, honestly. Especially with all the other crap that Niantic has been doing recently, which I'm not gonna get into that. If you want to, just go check out my recent video. That's all I'm gonna say. But enough complaining. We got more eggs to hatch. Time to get some more eggs, and we're gonna get another egg hatch during this video, guaranteed. If anyone was curious, this is actually the egg pool for the two kilometer eggs, and I believe as of right now, the only one that cannot be shiny is Cutie Fly. A lot of shiny potential in these eggs, but mostly going for for that Munchlax and that Riolu because I yet to have either of those or even a shiny Snorlax. We gonna be going hard for these 2Ks during this entire event. And would you look at that friends, we got nine more 2K egg hatches. What are we gonna get? Maybe we'll get lucky and get a shiny here right at the very end. First one's gonna be, oh we got the Pichu with the crown. Second one's gonna be a Munchlax, not gonna be shiny. Dang it, man. Third one is gonna be an Eevee, not gonna be shiny. Fourth one, it's gonna be another Munchlax, but not gonna be shiny. This one, Riolu. This is actually a really good egg hatch so far. I really shouldn't have said anything because now it's going to be nothing but cutie flies. Mark my words. Okay, and Azuril, it's not a cutie fly, so I can't really complain, but now they're all going to be cutie flies. Another Azuril to Togepi. And the last egg hatch is going to be a Pichu with a crown. No shinies from this egg bunch, but maybe we got a good IVs. Who knows? Let's check them. Riolu, you're going to be okay at 96. Can't really complain much. Like you're decent. Eevee, decent. Bad, bad, bad. Garbage. Awful. Terrible. Terrible. Okay, nothing good besides that Riolu, but either way, friends if you did enjoy the video be sure to like comment subscribe all those good things and i apologize if it was a little bit of a shorter one today i do have some stuff that i need to go home and take care of before work tomorrow so i apologize there but next video should be a lot longer and we're definitely going to be farming a lot more eggs as well in that video but like i said be sure to like comment subscribe let me know what you're going after for the spring into spring event and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace